Oh, Mikael, stop that. You're not gonna scare me. Come on. Caleb, wait for me. You're too fast. So what? Ah! He got you pretty bad, but at least you got back in one piece, right? What do you call ah! this? <laughs> Sorry, I, I ran away my because arm! I was too scared. You swam away like a little girl. Well, you lucky, left my arm. Lucky for us, this was a game. Oh, well, that's good. And the game is called Man, Man Eater. Eater. It is an open work shark revenge simulator, aka shark pg which the, is shark with rpg elements a very very popular genre with uh yeah. one or two entries really um yeah there's it's, it's it's pretty rare but getting more popular we hear yeah. so you said it's a revenge story a it simulator is. of a shark revenge yeah. story it's a revenge of a shark because there is this shark hunter that kills mother takes out the newly born cut him and throw him into the water to tell him, at least this way, I'm going to, uh, when I find you again, I'm gonna know it's you because he made a scar. But the baby shark actually took out of his arm, so. Don't worry, this is all in the first, like, <laughs> yeah. this isn't yeah. the tutorial of the game, yeah. so no, no big spoilers here. Which means you basically get to, to teach how to shark as a big one, and then you start as a baby shark. A little, little and baby. You keep growing in size, in skills, and in everything because these are the RPG elements in mm -hmm. there. So you kind of get to build your shark, and at first you're just getting bigger and with normal yeah. skills and learning new things. And then it gets a bit sci fi because you get skills that, well, no shark has that involves yeah. fire and lightning. These upgrades come in three categories. There's bone, bioelectric, and shadow that determine what kind of skills you have. And it gets quite crazy af yeah. after a while of what you're able to do as a shark. In some games, you can play two ways. The brutal one or be the kind one and not kill everyone. It's not this case because you are a shark that wants its revenge. So the only goal and the only way is to eat other fish and everything. Everything. To, everything to eat the everything yeah, yeah. and if, if you think that typical sharks that don't have electrical and fire powers yeah. are killing machines already you haven't seen anything yeah. because this is just about um, yeah killing everything in the most violent and weird crazy way possible mm -hmm. But this is an open world game it is you got a mm -hmm. lot of space to explore Lots of fish that to you eat, can, to eat or to just swim by. Lots of collectibles, and you jump like triple jump. You can triple jump, yeah, right, yeah. From, the, right from the beginning <laughs> from as the a beginning. shark. <laughs> Which means that you can can not only jump over the boats or some objects, but really on the beach mm -hmm. and be alive on the beach for some time, only well, for some limited time, but, and eating as yeah. many sunbathing beachgoers yeah. as you possibly can in the minute that you can survive on the yeah. ground. All of this, if you just go through the, the story and don't spend too much time floating in the ocean, uh, it'll take you about 15 hours to get through the story. Uh, it's not very profound <laughs> by the story. It, you, 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 you can expect where yeah. the story what is going. What else would you expect? You're a shark? I mean, I was kind of surprised that a shark simulator yeah. is based around a story. Okay. I yeah. didn't think that that was really necessary, but... Well, because not all the sharks are evil. This one uh, actually justifies his evil acts. Can evil be justified? Well, it can be in this game. They, they try. Like <laughs> they you, try. Maybe you have to play to decide yeah. if this shark is justified yeah. in the hundreds and yeah. hundreds of people <laughs> that he dismembers yeah. to have his revenge. But this is starting to get into our main question. Should you play it? Indeed. But first, you should know that this game is actually free from the Epic Game Store. It is the final mystery game, these four big blockbuster games that Epic Games gave away. So from the week of June 9th, you'll have one week to claim it, add it to your library. Don't have to install it right away, you keep it forever. 
And that's what we do on our channel. We review every free game from the Epic Game Store. So make sure you subscribe so that you never have to be bored again. But Man Eater, how did you find it, Mikhail? This is actually not the first time I played it. I played a similar game. It was, I think, called Shark Evolution. A very simple graphic, but uh, basically the same game. This one, it's more detailed. I would say this is a shark simulator that looks a little bit like GTA because even when you start <laughs> eating people, actually, uh, in like GTA, like they're gonna chase you. They're gonna bring boats. You, like, like you have like a you have like a wanted yeah. level as a shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> so, and then you have to fight, you have to fight those boats, yeah. and that's a big part of it. Is like yeah. these swarms of boats that you have to defeat. It's fun. And... It's limited. Mm -hmm. uh, fighting mm -hmm. is like a little bit like buggy because fighting it's real. Like it's chaotic. Yeah, it's chaotic. Yeah. Uh, there's not that it many options. It feels weird. Mm. Uh, the sea could be a lot better because, uh, I mean, you're not in the sea, but the water, there's not much of the waves. And this game is concentrating on water. So the water could have been a lot mm. better. Mm. I like the documentary like narrator that uh, talks in the game. And I know it's not too deep, but this is a very unique game. So actually, for a short fun, if you don't mind violent and if you don't take it so seriously, I would say yes, you should play it at least for a little bit of time because it might entertain you. You might be surprised. I think the main thing I would focus on from what you said is how it is pretty chaotic, it is gory, mm -hmm. it is really bloody, it is about tearing the arms and the legs off of humans and seals and really being a very, very violent killing machine. But they are not, the graphic is not like that realistic, it tries to be a little bit like... A little bit cartoony. cartoony. It, yeah. This is the problem, bit. is that it tries to not take itself serious seriously while at the same time being about a really brutal shark that just goes around killing things. That's the only thing you have to do, really, is just to kill everything. There's not a lot, yeah. there's not like platforming or puzzles <laughs> or dialogue or anything. I mean, maybe, what, else, what else would there be? Yeah. Maybe in Man Eater 2? Maybe, maybe, like Man Eater 2. There could be some underwater <laughs> puzzles, right? Or so, like you, you, you know, develop a or meaningful relationship I, with a puffer fish. I, I, yeah, know. other NPCs like the fish, you could talk to them. Yeah, you but that's see how. but that's the thing. It is quite superficial, and in the beginning, I found it to be, let's say, disturbingly fun. <laughs> that yeah, you're just rolling around on the beach, killing dozens of people as fast as you can with blood squirting everywhere. Uh, it's kind of fun, but the problem is as the game got farther, it got a little bit more disturbing and a little bit less fun mm -hmm. because it is very repetitive. These upgrades don't add that much. It just kind of makes the challenge, takes the challenge completely out of the game. The story doesn't pull me through yeah. it. Um, it's an interesting idea. If you really like sharks or you really like very brutal, bloody games, you should probably give it a try. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you should probably get a help. <laughs> also, also, like, if everything I've said before makes you think that's the game for me, maybe you need help first. But check out this game because it's free. Why not? Maybe it'll help. But overall, for anyone who's kind of on the fence about it, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to say no. Okay. This is probably That's not fair. the game for you if if you're hesitating about if it's for you. It didn't really surprise me. It was kind of what I expected, but more superficial, mm -hmm. actually. And we have so many free games. There's so much else to play. So unfortunately, good try, but I'm going to pass on the Shark PG. I would not pass it while it's free if I would be thinking about if whether I should buy it or mm. not, then mm. I'm not kind to know. Mm. Even even for free, honestly, I found it to be superficial enough that there are better ways to spend your gaming time. But let us know what you think. We have two different opinions. We often disagree, so you can decide which of us you agree with more. Tell us in the comments if you're going to give Man Eater a try and then what you think once you do. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.